when the stream actually starts. I'm probably like mid-word, mid-sentence, and people are like, what is he even talking about? That's because the stream is just getting started! In the dead silent Pokemon Snap intro screen that doesn't have a single sound. It is the dead silent Pokemon Snap introductory screen. Oh, there is sound! Oh, I have the sound turned on! Zero music on the introduction. What is with that? It still weirds me out every single time. All right, welcome to the stream. What's up, you guys? It's Jono. Ooh, Pokemon Snap just keeps getting better and better, doesn't it? I bet all you guys are already done with this game, huh? Is everybody completely done with the game? Have you guys caught every legendary? Have you seen every mythical? Have you got all of the hidden secrets found? I'm guaranteeing that a bunch of pros like you guys have already done the entire game, but your boy Jono is the world's slowest Pokemon Snap player. And I'm proud of it. All right, thank you very much. Let's go take a look at my photo decks. I got I actually have a lot of stuff in here. I do. I do. We've seen just about every Pokemon, but we have seen zero, count them, zero uh, Pokemon that are uh, legendary. Zero. No legendary Pokemon. That's kind of strange. Don't you think? Okay. Fat zero legendary Pokemon. Here we go. We got a lot of Pokemon in here. Woo! That's a lot of Pokemon. Woo! That's a lot of Pokemon. Oh, we got Love This yesterday. That was... A that was just adorable. My goodness. We got Pew Pew Moo Pew. Adorable. We got Corsola. That was just purely adorable. No Galarian forms. I really thought there would be some Galarian forms like Galarian Corsola in this game. What did you guys think about that? I haven't seen one yet. Has anybody seen one yet? Maybe, maybe, maybe there's another one. I don't know. Let's go look at my map, you guys. Let's go look and see. What have we done here? We have done the Maricopia Reef, the Lental Seafloor, with a beautiful blue hole, which I still cannot figure out how to get down into, the Blushing Beach, full of pristine sands and pastel tones. We have not gone to Fireflow Volcano yet, which I have heard is one of the best destinations in the entire game. So I'm looking forward to getting in there tonight. Now we did visit the sweltering sands, the island of Valuka. I just kind of split it up into two. I was like sweltering sands over here, the fireflow volcano over here. They're they're pretty robust levels, but these three I did them all in one episode because I mean they're all kind of the same place. You know what I mean? They're all kind of exactly the same place. It's just water, water, and more water. Okay, so we'll be back here on another episode to get level four and to get some new Pokemon. But today's episode, we are going to run through Fire Flow Volcano. Pokemon have thrived in this fiery volcanic region since prehistoric times. All right, that's quite interesting. That's quite interesting. I mean, should we dive right in? Should we just get in there, you guys? Maybe we should. Hold up. Why can't I go to the volcano? What are you talking about? Why can't I go to the volcano? Do, have I not unlocked it? I don't know. Hold on. Is there some... Wait. What? Why can't I... It told me that I unlocked this area. It told me specifically that I unlocked this area. It did going on here why does it have exclamation points on every single it's like they want you to go look at every single thing to clear all the exclamation points and I'm like if there was some reason for me to come here like maybe I would but there's not really any reason for me to come in here Aside from just to clear those exclamations, which is a little, a little frustrating. I mean, it is kind of cool to see what Pokemon spawn here, but uh, 
No, this, this, I, I see what's happening. I'm on the map. I'm on the map. That is so silly. I'm just on the map. I haven't caught any Pokemon in the volcano, so it doesn't have any data to show. That is hilarious. See, this is how my brain works. <laughs> this is Jono exposed. Okay, okay, okay. That's a fair point. That's a fair point. We can't travel here. We're just on the map looking at the Pokemon. Man. That's why we drink strong coffee. Strong, strong, strong coffee. All throughout the day. <laughs> I'm still just looking through my space, alright? I'm in my place looking at my space. Look at it. He's gone cold. <laughs> Dude, if you get the joke, it's hilarious, but nobody will get it. So it's like, well then, limited audience on the joke. Let's go see some of the trending photos. Too many spoilers. What is going on here? Oh, well, oh, well. I gotta say, I don't really like the MySpace that much. It doesn't feel like MySpace. You know what I mean? It doesn't feel like MySpace. It just feels like, like some space. It's, to me, it's not very useful. Okay, Pokemon have thrived in this fiery volcanic region since prehistoric times. Let's get in there. I, I was so confused for a second there. Oh, that's great. Oh, that's just great. Wonderful. Not a fan of coffee? That's okay. That's okay. I mean, the thing is, coffee is amazing. But I could see why some people don't like it. Oh. That's a pretty good photo. I like to just get like one photo, you know? Just like one real good photo. Oh, buddy. Okay. I wasn't sure what I would capture there. But yeah, if I can, just one photo. Makes it a lot easier to get the selections done. But then for a few episodes, I was testing just like shooting, you know, just like shooting a ton. And I was like, nah, I don't like it. No, sir, I don't like it. That's basically what I was thinking. Okay, okay, what's going on here? Is this guy going to turn around? Okay, that was a pretty good photo. Wait, so it's a scan. Dude. I get so lost in this game. I really do. There we go. What is that? Several large pieces of amber. Whoa, 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 whoa. Graveler. Come on, Graveler, turn around. Oh, I have the photo balls from here already. I did not realize I have the photo balls already. You know, I already have some good Luxray photos, so I don't want to overdo Luxray. Oh, <laughs> look at this guy. I mean, I probably need... Oh, do I feel bad about that? Just a little. Just a little. Did I drop Graveler into lava just now? Bruh! Bruh! I'm like a straight Pokemon murderer out here. What was that? They're like, I mean, Slugma jumping into the fire. I get it. You're a fire type. But. Bruh. <gasps> I burned a beautiful apple. 
Oh my goodness, you guys, we are in a straight up fire zone here. I mean, this is insane. There's lava everywhere. This is awesome. Oh, dude, there's Charmander. Charmander, eat this apple. I don't know if that was the one. Dude, he was everywhere. I couldn't get him to hold still. All right. Oh, Slugma. I didn't expect that. Whoa. <laughs> okay. I just want a really big picture of Slugma, though. Graveler, I'm sorry. Graveler, I'm so sorry. Can you forgive me? Wait. Oh, what is this? Ancient ruins! Yo! Take me in the ancient ruins. Oh, I thought I was going in the ancient ruins there for a sec. Chai is epic. Yes, dude. Chai tea is epic. Chai tea is the best of the best. A little bit of like cardamom in there. Like a little tiny bit of cinnamon. Dude, chai tea top of the tops. The first time I ever had chai tea was in San Francisco at an Indian restaurant that my sister took me to. And um, it was, I mean, it was just so good. And we could drink as much as we wanted. Like it was just kind of on tap there in the restaurant. And uh, yeah, it was quite an experience. I don't know which Tyrantrum to grab, but that was a pretty good one. We can grab that one and then see if there was a better one. Oh my goodness, that three star wasn't even bad. And he's like perfectly centered. He's not that big though. He's so centered. I'm gonna grab that one. I mean, he was just perfectly centered. Uh, I guess we grabbed that one. Oh, I didn't even... Yeah, I guess I did. I guess I did grab that, didn't I? Okay, that one I think came out pretty good. It was framed nicely, at least. Uh, I mean, I may as well take a picture of that guy since I straight murdered him. <laughs> that was kind of wrong. Uh, that was actually not a bad photo. It was framed a little... Strangely, um, that one wasn't too bad. Th I'm gonna take this one. A little bit of cropping on that, but that's all right. All right, not too bad. Not too bad. Yeah, my sister took me uh, took me to an Indian restaurant. It's like her favorite Indian restaurant in San Francisco. I still, to this day, don't know what neighborhood she took me to, and I've spent a lot of time in San Francisco, but I'll never know what neighborhood she took me to. I should probably just ask her, but um, yeah, very, very good chai tea, so good. And then um, my brother-in-law was like, dude, I think I remember the code for my old building where I used to live. And I was like, no way, you do not remember the code for your old building where you used to live. And he was like, no, bro, I think I do remember the code. And then my sister was like, okay, should we go to the building and see if we can get on the roof? <laughs> this is like what you do in San Francisco. And he was like, yeah, let's go. I know I can remember the code. And he went and he tried like two codes. And we were like, dude, you can't remember the code. And then like he remembered the code and he opened the door and he was like, let's go. And so we went to the roof and it was a pretty good roof view. It wasn't bad anyway. I've seen better, but it was decent, but it was just kind of funny. I was like, dude, how did you actually remember the code of a place that you used to live like so many years ago and it was still the same code? <laughs> anyway, anyway, memories. <laughs> oh, the chimchar was like, oh, it was Monferno. It was just not even facing the right way, not even close. Terrible photo. I don't even want to have that photo. Okay, now this one I'm curious. 
and have some decent framing, you know? I thought it would give me background, but it didn't. Sometimes it'll give you background if there's good color, like really good, rich color, like around, especially like purples I've noticed. Hey, you know what? I'll take it. Graveler was not even facing me. Now this slugma was decent. That is a centered photo if I have ever seen one. I mean, slightly, slightly off centered to the top. It won't give me a perfect score, but still pretty close. Pretty close. This one I'm curious. I should get a good size on this and I don't think I clipped his wings too much. Oh, 1928. Yes, that's not bad. That's a diamond. They gave me a diamond for that. You know what? I'll take it. All these photos are like so overexposed red. They're like, they're like just red, 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 red in all the photos. So I'm trying to, whoa, leveled up on my first run through. Okay. I didn't even get very many diamonds. Okay. Yo, whatever. I'll take it. Yo, dragon types. We finally got some dragon types. I know it's because I murdered the graveler. It's wrong. It's so wrong of me. Okay, let's let's check my photos. Uh, apparently, he needs to fill me in on something right away. Apparently, we have already accomplished enough in this level to be filled in by Professor. Okay, Professor. Okay, what's the scoop? Gotta let me know. Professor and Rita, good, we're all here. Did you discover something? That I did. I found us a new teleportation point. There's a massive mountain in the heart of Belusilva Island. I picked up a strong energy reading there, high up and hidden in the clouds. Whoa! In the clouds? Wait, we're gonna teleport into the sky? Not quite. There seems to be a forest so high up on the mountain that it's above the clouds. Two, awesome. Something about it feels mysterious. Even when viewed from the sky above, it's hidden by fog. Rayquaza! Just kidding, he's not in this game. That's double awesome, let's go already. Take it easy, Phil. When you're ready, I'd like you to do some research. Up there. <laughs> Discoveries await. All right, sounds good. Sounds good. I think we're gonna continue to work on the volcano because the volcano is quite interesting, but we have unlocked a new area. All right, let's go just take a look and see what it is. Belusilva, which is the grand continent up here. And we have located the Elsewhere Forest, a foggy forest at the top of a mountain hidden by the clouds. That's insane. That looks like it's gonna be our next episode. And I was wondering, are we gonna unlock anything for our next episode? So there it is, you guys, there it is. That looks like it'll be tomorrow's episode. Oh my goodness. That forest is way too creepy. What do you think we'll find in there, you guys? Ghost type Pokemon? I don't know. Ghost types? Uh, that was pretty good. Yo, what was that? Okay, there is a Pokemon up there. Archeops is just walking around up there. Archeops, what are you doing exactly? Not much, not much. He's just up there chilling. What else we got here? Oh, Monferno. Oh, buddy. Dude, seriously? Oh. Okay, so Monferno runs through right at the beginning. What is that right there? Oh.
Oh, yes. Oh, there's something else to scan over here? Wait, what? You can hear some happy humming sounds. Because Charizard is in there! Oh. There was an Illumina orb over there that I missed. I do hear some happy humming sounds. There was an Illumina orb over there that I surely missed. So maybe if we light up that Illumina orb, something will happen. That explains the Aerodactyl. What explains the Aerodactyl? Yo, Monferno. This dude is everywhere. So the level changed up like just a little bit. Just a little bit. Monferno is definitely popping in a little bit more. I think so anyway. I feel like this isn't even the same level. I don't even remember that room. What's about to happen over here? I feel like there's something over here. Oh, turn. I never seen him do that before. I didn't see what she said. Wait, is this a totally different room? I do not remember this room. Okay. Oh, that was adorable. Yo, there's like honey all over here. Yo. Okay. Yo, I lit this whole place up. Okay, I do not remember going in that room the first time I came through here. This is this looks totally different. Oh my there's definitely a quill lava right there. What's up, quill lava? Oh! Dude, there was two of them. Okay, did... Am I just crazy? It's totally a different room. They took me a different way. Oh, Aerodactyl. A deep cave extends beyond the arch in the ruins. Did it take me further through the ruins? I don't understand what's happening. They took me on like a different route. It was fun though. I need a snack. Okay, let's see what happens here. Get the photos.
What is this three star? I'll take it. I knew this was going to be a different pose because I never saw him do this pose before. Oh, I'll take that one. There we go. We got a diamond. Okay, this one is not going to be much. 950 on the pose? Are you kidding me? Yo. No way. I got diamond. Another diamond. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. Oh, he might be facing me. He might be. I chose this one because the eye is looking at me. Did you guys notice that? He just might be facing. Let's see. Yes, yeah, 933 direction. It worked. Not bad. Dude, what a great photo. Diamond. That's awesome. Dude. Yo, there's blue lava? What? This guy is talking about blue lava. <clears throat> Yo, he's talking about blue lava and he's got something else to report to me. We are making a ton of level progress. Bunch of storyline progress here. Let's see what he has to say. While I munch on my gummies. Gummy, 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 gummy. 
I can't believe there were ruins that deep inside. They must have been built by people too, right? Right you are. And most likely with some special purpose in mind. As for that big hole we saw in the wall. I picked up an Illumina Pokemon's energy coming from inside. Where do you suppose the hole leads? I wouldn't be surprised if it were a tunnel to the far away to the far away volcano. Whoa. You think there's a Pokemon that uses that tunnel to get around? Ooh, Groudon. What kind of Pokemon would do that? We'll have to see for ourselves. Good luck on this next expedition. Yo. What is going on in the volcano? It seems like I'm just going deeper and deeper into the volcano every time they send me in there. Right? Let's get in there. Oh, we're finally going to the Illumina spot. The environment around Fireflow Volcano has remained virtually unchanged since the prehistoric era. Okay. Okay. Hmm. It couldn't possibly be in all that lava, could it? Yo! What the? Yo, it's a cutscene. I never expected this. This is lit. Yo, you guys. That's why the volcano is everybody's favorite. Look at this. Oh my, two Volcarona. A pair of Illumina Pokemon. Incredible. Yo, I wish they did something this cool for the last level. Dang. Follow them. All right, let's go follow them. Scan. Yo, where my scan at? These buried ruins are proof that humans used to visit the volcano's crater. Yo, I play my song for you. I play my song for you. I don't think it works. Yo, what's the deal with these flames? What's the deal with these flames? Hit them with an apple? All right, let me try. What's the deal with them flames? Finally. I got them with the apple one time. This is my song. So it's uh, Illumina Pokemon, so I gotta hit it with the, um, with the orb, you know.
Yo, where'd they go? It's like a boss battle. Trying to get both of these guys. Okay, I definitely got something decent off of all of that. My goodness. That worked out pretty well. Thanks for the tip to hit him with the apple. I didn't think it was going to work because the apple always burns up, but apparently it works there. <clears throat> Alright, nice. This one's tough because I have a lot of good photos. But very few centered photos. One of those would be amazing if I had got it centered. I can't believe that's a one star pose. So many of them that I got are one star poses. Dude, how is this? Oh, I cannot believe it didn't give me that. That's so unfair. It gave me Krista Bloom on that. That's so unfair. That's a good photo. So unfair. So unfair. That was like the perfect picture. <clears throat> Illumina spot level two. Oh, the banquet of fire. Ooh. Okay.
Dude, the professor has got more to tell us. This is crazy. Okay. Okay, professor. Okay. Let's see it. Now we know for sure that Illumina Pokemon live on this island as well. That brings us back to the idea that the events depicted in Lentil's legend actually happened. Don't the legends say Pokemon warded off some huge disaster? What do you think it was? Evidence suggests it was a meteorite. About 2,000 years ago, what we know as the Tellur meteorite arrived. According to the legends of what happened, the Illumina Pokemon's power was scattered all over the region, making the Pokemon of Lentil glow. An interesting idea, isn't it? But here's my theory. What really caused the Pokemon of Lentil to glow was the fact that the Tellur meteorite itself and the Illumina Pokemon are the ones that were the most heavily affected by the meteorite. So the legends are wrong. That's why we're researching to find out. Oh, how interesting. He wants to research the events of the past and find out if they're true. There we go. All right. Shout out to Todd. Look at this guy. Listen, I know you can take the Neo 1 off to other islands, but why not try snapping some photos here? You may already be familiar with the Pokemon around here, but I bet you'll find new sides to them if you look. Just choose this icon at the top left of the research camp to get started. Give it a try when the mood strikes you. No pressure. You know what? Let's give it a try. Let's give it a try. What about Eevee? Where's Eevee? Okay. Sudo Wudo will not move.
I don't see anything going on in here. <laughs> I was like, dude, this has got to be over, right? It can't go on much longer. <clears throat> okay. How was your first crack at this course? Tell me all about the Pokemon you saw. Dude, it's like a real course. Wait a second. It's like a very real course. Couldn't get Eevee to face me. Okay. Okay, let's see these photos. I'm snacking out, you guys. I'm eating my healthy snacks tonight, though. Okay, meow. Very nice. Diamond. Yo, that's a great photo. How is that not a diamond? Level one. Level one at the research camp, you guys. We may have to work on that. Yeah, level one. I don't know about that. Let's try the Illumina spot again because that was pretty lit. Let's see what happens. Who's my favorite fire type Pokemon? I do like Infernape.
There's an Infernape over there. Dude, like, I cannot hit them. Finally. And we lost them. How did that not hit? Okay, this level is crazy. Dude, that was intense. That was mega intense. Woo! That was nuts.
Man, those were tough. Some of them weren't even good. That was better. Let's do it again. I want to get a really good one. I want to get like an insane photo. Okay, that was pretty good. That was pretty good. I got him really early. Like, really, really early. Because I thought you couldn't even hit him that fast, but I actually did. So, it just means I got to work for it. That was a pretty good one. It is so hard to hit those.
Dude, light it up. Dude. Wow, man, that was just like so crazy. Uh, my coffee is uh, vanilla custard or something like that. So good. Dude, this is a hard and fun and challenging level and I finally got my first three star photo. And I think we're gonna take it since it's the first one I got. Dude, can you believe how many of these photos? Ah, uh, cannot believe that. Okay, some of these had two in them and I just wanna make sure I absolutely get the best photo because some of these had two in them and it was really hard to get two in them, you know? And some of these were really well centered, like early, early on. And I want to get the highest score possible. That one was pretty darn good. Oh, this is the one. Oh my goodness, one of these is the one. No, I gotta take this one. That is so well centered. That's got to be the one, right? Okay, let's see what happens here. All right, here we go. This has got to be a diamond. Out of the park, right? Need it. Need it. Yeah. Over 5,000 on that one. That's how you get a winner right there. Okay, that was nice. That was quite nice. No background or anything, but still, that's cool. Will you be playing Legends of Arceus or Brilliant Diamond? It's not really an either-or kind of thing. They come out so far apart. There'll be plenty of time to play both. You know, I don't know why, but I'm just obsessed with this level for a minute. So let's just go through one more time. It's like every time I go in, I find out something new. Let's do one more time and then we'll go back to Volcano and we'll run the Volcano a few times too. Because this spot is just kind of amazing me. So right there when they first come in is your first chance to hit both of them with an apple. Okay, here we go. You can't hit the other one from here. I can rain apples the whole time, but I can't hit them, so kind of a tough one I think I hit him one time I think I hit him one time. There we go.
Oh, got kind of lucky, but I just constantly just bomb apples. Like, constantly just rain apples, and some of them actually do get lucky and hit. How does that not hit? That was, that was a lie. That was a lie. I wonder, do I need to keep hitting them? To make them stay with the... You know, with the light on them. Dude, it's really hard to get these hits. It's like I can only get one of them at a time. And then they go back in their hole. This is hard. It's a very challenging level. Very challenging level. Pokemon Snap Nuzlocke with limited apples. One apple per, per course. What will you use it on? Let's take this two star photo because it was just absolutely beautiful. And it's my first two-star photo and then we can finally say okay we got two-star photos although I did not get a three-star photo dude look at that that's a good score right there that's a very good score yes dude that was fantastic okay I finally feel like I like I did enough Okay, let's return to camp. All right. Okay, we're gonna run the regular volcano. And I think that there's a couple of alternate routes or something in here. When am I playing quest next? Uh, probably Thursday. I think Thursday's our quest day that we like. What do you guys think? Quest on Thursday? Oh, that one flew away after I sang my song. That's interesting.
I keep on missing Monferno like right there. What? Yo. Dude, I cannot snap a picture of that Monferno. Okay, supposedly this is blue lava, which is like totally creeping me out. Traveler, what are you doing down here? Growler, turn around. Cannot get Graveler to turn around. So weird. So weird. Oh, I ran out of photos. Try to get Rhyhorn on quest. Hey, if he shows up randomly, you know, that's the only way my Nuzlocke works. If he decides to show up, lucky me.
That was the one. Three star Torkoal. Not bad. Okay. Give me those ones. Yeah, Rhyhorn is really good in quest. I do hope I get it. I do. Look at that shock face. Yo, I didn't even get full size. Look at that. Yo, that's incredible. I didn't even get full size. I would have had an even higher score. Oh my goodness. Three star rolling. Oh, diamonds. Nice. Very nice. Okay, this should be a diamond. Oh, yeah. Very nice. Good one. Great pose. Great size. Very nice. New record. This one's dead center. Dead center. I'll get a thousand. Oh, 983. So close. Oh, dead center. A thousand on the placement. Another 1,000 on the placement. Let's go. Machine like precision. You got a score of 1,000 points or more in the placement category 50 times. That's right. 50 times. Yeah, getting them smack dab right in the center. That's what we like to see. Very nice. 50 centers. Have you guys unlocked that yet? Anybody got their 50, 1,000 scores yet? I got them all to sing and take flight. Did you guys notice that? They all did a sing and take flight because I did the song for them. So that's kind of interesting. Dang. I miss him every time.
All right. I feel like something is supposed to happen there and I am just missing it. <clears throat> I don't know. It is so blue. I'm just looking for anything I might have missed. That was kind of a cool photo. Yo, that lion Pokemon was up there. Did you guys see that? It said smack dab in the middle when I know it full well wasn't. Yo, hey, shout out to Koopo Ocelot. Shout out to Spoofer Tricks. Hey, what's up, Spoofer Tricks? People still play Pokemon Go? I think it might be that one.
think it's that one. Look at this one. Not bad. Not bad at all. Wow. There you go. No way, I thought that photo would be way better. No way! I'll take it, because that photo is hilarious. Okay, we have leveled up the level. Let's go. Amazing. Your research on this course is going great. Hey, let's keep on going. Let's keep on going. Because it has been fantastic so far. Maybe we'll get to level four. I miss him every time. Whoa, no way. Whoa. Dude, I don't even know what to do there. I don't even know you guys. 
Feels like I'm missing something for sure. I cannot get him. I can't. What is the deal there? That's, oh man, there's more to that story. There's got to be more to that story. Look. He's up there, but I can barely get a shot of him. Wow, I ran out, you guys. Surprise, surprise. I know Luxray was there. That was the best I got. It's hard to tell which one.
Oh, that was a decent one. With two of them in it. Have I found a hit healing stone yet? I only found KO healing. Prago. I found a couple of KO healing stones. Dude. Okay. Another Talon Flame pose. I've almost got four poses on a bunch of these Pokemon now. There we go. Oh, I thought it'd be better. At least it's a diamond. This one should be pretty good. Come on now. He didn't get a good pose on that one? How? I beat it by three points. Dude, this should have been way better. Yo, there was Luxray in the very beginning of the level and then there wasn't Luxray anymore. What happened to that? Luxray just bounced from the beginning of the level. Who remembers that? I gotta go back to like level one level or something. Dude, I couldn't even beat my score. How do we do? We gotta retry. That wasn't it. Now, is there Luxray and I just am missing it? Why is he up there? Okay, that might be my final pose for that talent flame. I still haven't found what's up there. Something is up there.
This time I gotta get a good photo of these guys. Okay, that last photo might have been it. Dude. I can see why people like this level so much. It's got a lot going on. Yes. Oh, I got a four star. Nice. That means I might actually complete Slugma. I'm not sure. Let's see how my photos did. My first backflipping photo. I knew that was going to be a pose. As soon as I saw him backflip, I was like, that's a pose. I got to get that backflip. That was not a bad photo, even though it won't give me diamond. Here we go. How was this? Not bad at all. Four star diamond on the first try and we have complete. That's right. Complete. Our Typhlosion photo decks. Very nice. Okay, now come on. This has got to be a better photo. Doesn't take much. <laughs> Come on now, this has got to be better. Nope. Nope. Hey, there we go. Four star diamonds. Not bad. Not bad. All right, you love to see it. Level three on the volcano. I can't believe it. Let's run it again. Why not? Let's see what we find. Have any of you guys already finished your photo decks? Anybody out there? Obviously, I have not finished mine, but, you know, I'm getting close. Whoa, smoke came out of there. Did you guys see that? Smoke. 
Smoke came out of that. Huh. That was interesting. I messed it up. Whoa. I keep on missing something over there. Apparently there's a hole over there that Charmander ran out of. Cannot figure that out. Maybe when the level upgrades it'll do something different. I still don't think I've got a two-star photo.
It's really hard to pick one. We'll try that one. Okay, I finally got 1,000 for the placement, so that's where center is. Okay, okay. Couldn't be my original photo, but at least I'm learning. I didn't think that would be better. Nearly perfect on the size. That's a very good one. Hey, we got perfect on the size. 2,000 on the size. I kind of thought that was a good photo. Dude, how do you get to level four on some of these levels? That's incredible. All right, you guys, we're going to wrap it up because this has been a very action-packed adventure. I didn't customize any photos. I didn't find any photos that I thought were funny. Oh, well. My album is very sparse. Let's go look at my info. What about my research log? Scores. Hmm. Photos with no subject. I wonder what happens if you get to like a thousand here. Photos of ancient ruins. Huh. Interesting. Very interesting. All right, you guys, I'm going to get out of here. We got another day tomorrow, and I think we have a brand new adventure island as well, so we can go and look at that. We are, we are getting close to, I think, some of the more exciting episodes, because we eventually have to track down some legendaries. I'll probably have to look up some guides and figure out how to find all these legendaries, and we'll go look for those. Uh, we eventually got to track down, you know, four-star levels on all these levels. And uh, I think after that, we beat the game. I don't know. I think after that, we beat the game. It only took me one day to beat the original Pokemon Snap. I sat down and beat the whole game in one sitting. So this game has definitely been a lot longer. They packed a lot more features into this game. That's for sure. All right. Thanks, everybody. I will catch you on the next stream. Good night, everybody. And peace.